turn it around. I'm filming the outside now. I ain't done this in so long, y'all. How do you flip it around? There we go. I, I guess we upside. I hope we're not upside down. Let me see. Well, I'll just have to do it like this. Now that's better. I don't even know if we live. Yeah, it says 33 seconds, but we ain't got nobody in the room with us. Regular coffee? Huh? Yeah, regular coffee. Hey, everybody. I'm going to say everybody and because I'm waiting until some people gets in here. <laughs> I think we got one person. What y'all doing? I hadn't been live in so long. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I can't even see no comments. Can somebody leave me a comment so I can try to figure out how to get the comments? I might have to wait till Todd gets back. Let me see. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Mr. J. How are you doing? I'm glad you left me a comment because I didn't even know uh, how to do this anymore. I hadn't been so li in live in so long. But me and Todd, we decided to take a trip with uh, some friends of ours and we came to Texas. Hello, Mother Earth, and happy Dippy 89. It is good to see you. Yeah, it's always good to go on a nice trip, especially when you sit at home all the time and don't do anything, and that's how I do. I don't never go anywhere. I've been so sick, so uh, I've been in the house <clears throat> and staying in the house my gardening has went downhill I, I hadn't really gardened in two years y'all that's how sick i've been but hopefully and the lord's willing and the creek don't rise i'll be able to do that this time this year so so far this year i've got some romaine lettuce that's already planted and inside my greenhouse I went ahead and planted uh, some tomatoes and cucumbers, and uh, they're blooming. My tomatoes are already blooming. I can't believe I have tomatoes on there already. Yes, it's great to, uh, to hear from y'all, too. Uh, oh, don't worry about that. We ain't worried about no spelling. This ain't no school class. <laughs> I, that's the least of my worries. And you shouldn't worry about it either. And if somebody says something about it or tries to correct you, then that's on them. Shame on them. But uh, Todd went into Starbucks to get us a coffee. And uh, so I'm sitting in the car waiting on him. But look back here, y'all. That's Boudreaux. Boudreaux, say hi. That's my service dog. Ain't he cute? He is so wonderful. Uh, we're working with him and uh, for him to help pick up and alert me before things happen. You know, you can't uh, train a dog, you know, to pick up. I mean, you can train them, but when you first get them, they don't, not, they can't teach them to uh, pick up your symptoms. So, he has to be with you to learn, you know, what your symptoms are. And, uh, so far he's doing pretty good because before I, uh, like when I start getting sick, he'll get in my lap and he'll take his nose and he puts it like right here by my mouth. And, uh, so he can, like he's smelling or something. It's like an alert that he does. And when he does that, I'm sick. You know, so that's kind of one of his alerts by him getting in my face. Y'all had sleet and snow? Oh, my gosh, Mother Earth Garden. Oh, it is nice and warm here. It's I don't know what the temperature is, but it's probably almost 70 degrees, I'd say. But uh, I'm in short sleeves, so it's, it's pretty good. 
Yes, Boudreaux is uh, my service dog. Hey, y'all, hold on. Uh huh. That's my buddy. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> I said that's my brother from another mother. He was showing me a video of this woman had some rabbits and she had this wall built and it had like little holes and the rabbits would jump up to her and she was putting them in those holes. That's pretty neat. I miss having her rabbits and I miss my goats so big. I miss Willow so bad, y'all. It ain't even funny. I watched that Weed Em and Weep and uh, boy, when I see those uh, goats on there, oh, it makes me think of Willow so bad. But you know, I was so sick and I couldn't take care of them anymore. And uh, they started to get in like hoof troubles and stuff like that. So we made the decision to uh, go ahead and let them go. But uh, Todd made sure that uh, they went to some good people because, oh Lord, I'd have a fit. But I would give anything if I could get Willow back. I miss her so bad. But Butterfly and Reese are doing good. I had them AI'd and they didn't take. I just knew Butterfly was pregnant, but lo and behold, she wasn't. And so it didn't work. And so I'm kind of waiting, you know, because I don't want her to have a baby or Reese to have a baby in the winter. Hey, Prep for Eternity Homestead. I'm glad you joined us. Uh, so, I'm going to have them. I still have uh, two more straws. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the same vet to AI them. And uh, if they don't take, hey, Carrie, if they don't take this time, I'm going to go ahead and order more straws. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get somebody else to come uh, AI. I'm going to uh, use the same guy that uh, had AI'd Butterfly when she got pregnant for Reese. But uh, I have a new cow. I, I'm not for sure if Todd told y'all. She's a calf and she's got beef master in her but she's not a mini. But she's still a calf so I've got her with Reese because I'm trying to tame her down a little bit. Boy, she was buck wild when the guy went to bring her to me. She ran over him and knocked him down and went through the uh, horse trailer and busted her nose and stuff because she had never been in a trailer. Yeah, I had to let a lot of the animals go. Uh, Todd picked up, uh, you know, the turkeys, peacocks. Well, we already had that. We didn't have peacocks, you know, and he got more chickens. And now he's trying to get uh, a certain type of chicken. I think they're called those copper morans, and they lay those dark, dark brown eggs. Uh, but I like those Easter eggers. Uh, have you seen how pretty the blue eggs they lay? I mean, they look like the sky. They're so blue. Yeah, but we have really been busy. Well, Todd has, because poor old Todd's been having to do everything. I don't know if uh, y'all knew how sick I was. I almost died. Uh, matter of fact, the nurses uh, told me that they didn't think I was going to make it. That's how bad I was. I had ended up, I had MRSA streptococcus pneumonia is what had happened. And, you know, everybody has uh, the MRSA on their skin and this and that. And a lot of the healthcare workers, like I'm a registered nurse, you know, it'll get in their nose and, you know, it can colonize and that's what can cause you to get it. But I had it in my lungs, y'all. Uh, the doctor had said I had like four big spots on my lungs and uh, they had to med flight me to another hospital. And I can remember being put on the helicopter and uh, I told Todd I remembered it was like something was right there in my face. I don't know what it was. He said I was probably hallucinating or something. But uh, when I got there, I can remember the doctor uh, hollering and saying he needed uh, IV access because he, he was saying he needed it now. And I could hear him, but I couldn't see him. And uh, I was tapping my neck. If you look like right here, it looks like I have like a hickey bark there, but that's not that. That's where they had to end up putting an IV uh, right there. Uh, they put a central line there 
well, they call it IJ. Uh, so uh, that's where he went in at right there. And because I didn't have anywhere, my veins are bad. And uh, I stayed in ICU, but uh, Todd said I, when I was in ICU, you know, he had my dog, my service dog. He said that baby was missing me. And when I was able to come around and hold a conversation with him, uh, I told him, I said, well, bring him to me. He said, in ICU? I said, yes. I said, they can't stop a service dog, you know, from coming and being with you. And so when he brought Boudreaux, y'all, that little dog jumped up in that bed with me. And honey, he was right there in my face. You know, he knew I was sick. And honey, he laid down beside me in that bed and it wasn't getting him out of that bed. He stayed with me in ICU until I was discharged. Now, my kids were kind of upset with me because when uh, uh, it got time, I started feeling better and stuff. And I told the doctor, I said, send me home. I want to go home. And uh, so they put me a pick line in. And when we got home, I taught Todd how to give me my, uh, hook up my IV antibiotics, how to flush the pick line and uh, take care of them. I was so bad that I would go to sleep in the chair and I would wake up and Todd was hooking up uh, my antibiotics and stuff. And uh, I'm so glad I was able to teach him. But my kids said, Mama, you came home way too soon. But I was thinking, why should I pay somebody to take care of me when I knew what needed to be done myself? You know, because they would have put me in a room and all the nurses would have did was administer my medication, do my IV antibiotics, and I already knew how to do all that. And I just taught Todd how to do it. So, but they ended up sending home health and he would come and uh, they would come and they would help take care of me too. You know, but Todd did most of the work. Hey, he would set an alarm on his phone. He would go outside and work and do the sawmill. When it was time for him to come in, hook my antibiotics up, he would come in, hook them up, and then he would set a clock because they ran for like an hour. And then he'd come back in, unhook it, flush it. And uh, look, y'all, he would come in from the sawmill, him and Wayne working. He'd come fix me breakfast. He'd fix me my lunch. And then when he got done, he would come in and fix me my supper. Now, you tell me, that's a good man. That is a very good man. Yeah, I know everybody was wondering what happened to me, and Todd kept telling me to go live, but, you know, my face was so swole. I was on four liters of oxygen, and uh, I didn't want nobody to see me like that. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have worried about it. That was probably a vain side of me, and uh, but uh, I was... Finally, I'm glad I'm going live. I'm glad I get to talk to y'all because I have sure missed y'all. Thank you. I'm glad I'm doing good too. Hey, it ain't no fun being sick. And you know what? You That's when you find out who your true friends are. When you get sick and you get down and out, that's who you know who stays around. Yes. And you know what? I can honestly sit here and say that uh, when I was in uh, sick and I wasn't going live, I wasn't doing any videos or nothing like that, YouTube, our friends on YouTube, never stopped asking Todd about me. And, you know, I am so glad that y'all, because that made me feel good. So if you know somebody that's sick, that's struggling, even though if you don't hardly ever talk to them, you know, drop them a line on their YouTube page. You know, I know uh, Sherry's been sick and I, uh, uh, I really need to message her. And uh, let her know, just because I hadn't seen her, I hadn't talked to her, I still love her. Because you don't get no better than Sherry and Dar Daryl. Todd's got his instruction going. Turn I don't know around. why, because he's following our buddies. Yes, that dog is a blessing. And he actually comes from Todd's sister. Uh, she is she the one gave him to me. Because when I would go to her house, you know, he would always come to me. And he always wanted to be with me. And I really believe he was picking up stuff. 
he is a registered uh, Cocker Spaniel, and his name is Boudreau, and uh, he is now a considered a uh, registered service dog for me. He's got his little cord if I go in motels and stuff like that. He is there with me. Look, Todd. Hello, y'all. Todd, they said you a good man for taking care of me. I tried. It's hard. It's, he said it's hard. But I'm glad I'm doing okay. We're actually in the process of making a video that we're going to be uploading. Y'all going to have to watch it. Because I wanted to be uh, we drove five and a half hours to this place, you know. Uh, they are supposed to have like 30 miles of flea market, little booth set up, like a garage sale type thing. And uh, I'm doing a video because I want to see, is it really worth the price to drive this far, five and a half hours, to uh, this place, you if know? You want antiques, they've got them. They've got from high-end to regular flea market stuff but the high-end stuff is they got some beautiful stuff the place of glass i mean at the what's it windows called stained glass stained windows. glass windows look like church house windows all different arcs they're anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars i've seen some of them doors they're beautiful some beautiful some old stuff a lot what, of antiques what todd doesn't know is see i couldn't go yesterday with him i was just down and out so i had to sit in the car uh, yes we are in texas what uh round top round top texas round top texas is where they're having uh all those 30 miles garage sale things and that we're headed back there today to uh we're going to the tent section today which is uh more of a garage sale type stuff Hanging with Mr. J is from Texas. Is it? Yeah, ain't you from Texas, Hanging Mr. J? How's Texas is a big place. Well, I know, there. but how big, uh, I mean, how far are you from Round Top, Texas? But what Todd don't know is that stained glass, I'm checking it out today because I had to sit in the car yesterday and I let him go with a friend shopping and me and Boudreaux just sat in the car. Oh, you're from New Jersey. Oh, I thought you were from Texas. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, did y'all see that LSU gymnastic girls won the SEC championship? I am so proud of them. And now the LSU women basketball, they play today at 2 o'clock. And uh, they're, in, uh, they're playing for the uh, – it's not the championship game, they but they're – no, I don't think it's the top four. Yeah, right. no, it's round two. I'm not sure what it is, y'all, but they're playing today. So we're going to be driving back home today. So hopefully uh, we can uh, watch the game on the phone. But uh, I know that uh, uh, John Blocker, uh, that's his last name, huh, Blocker? Yeah, I think so. I know he's from Texas. Uh, I don't know what part of Texas he lives in, if y'all know. Let me know, because we would have liked to see some people over here, you know. Hey, if the phone goes out and we lose service, uh, there's no connection at Round Top. So as we get closer, I'm probably going to lose service, y'all. What's Sherry and Daryl's home, their YouTube channel? Two Family Homestead. Yes, I can't forget it. By mine, y'all go so blank. Two Family Homestead. That's who, I, that's who I'm talking about, Daryl and Sherry. I want y'all to go and send her some love on her page and let her know that everybody still loves her because she's been really bad sick. She's been like me, you know, we both been sick. Hope y'all have some good stuff and pray you uh, safe travels. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. But guys, guess what? I'm back. So y'all gonna be seeing me. <laughs> and I don't wanna hear y'all with that funny accent she's got. <laughs> and Mr. Willie, what's he call me? The Taskmaster. Yeah, that's what Mr. Willie calls me. But you know what? Old Todd's been the Taskmaster. <laughs> Cause he been telling me what I can do, what I couldn't do and everything. Like I'm his child. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off.
again. Uh, I am so glad that y'all dropped in to say hi. We love y'all. This is the first time I've ever traveled far to go to I said no when I was in college uh I used to get Starbucks coffee. Hey AAP homestands, good to see you. Hello, Bubba. How y'all doing? We we shopping. So I'm gonna make that video and I'm gonna look at the prices because yesterday when I saw some things, look at here. I mean they want it like three, four, five, six hundred dollars for some of this stuff. And these cast iron pots, son, they had $90 on them. I don't know if cast iron pots is worth that. Now, if you flip it upside down and it's a lodge or something like that, uh, yeah, you, it, I probably think it would be worth it. What do y'all think? Is cast iron pots worth that? AAP, we gonna have to get together, get up somewhere, some little thing. And, uh, visit each other. Do like a get together. We need to do something. We wait for all these other people, but us little people, we got to do something too. We not might not we might not be big and famous YouTubers, but hey, we are a community, and that's all that matters is that we love one another. But guys, I'm gonna let y'all know, and I'll catch y'all again later. Uh, I wish you didn't live too far either. We might can meet in the middle. Hello. No, I haven't seen y'all's new cows. But I'm going to check it out. I promise you I will. But hey, uh, I'm going to let y'all go. And uh, when we head home, okay. we'll get better service because my phone is steadily okay. losing service. You. So uh, we'll go live again on the way home. Yeah, we done lost service. Oh, okay. Y'all started a, a homestead too. Good. I'm going to check it out.